Hi, welcome back. This is Rakesh Naik. Today we are going to discuss about what is FIFO, LIFO and LC search in branch and bound. But before we start, a small information I'd like to share. In this channel, we produce every video in two different languages. If you want to watch this video in Hindi, kindly follow the link given in the description. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get regular updates from this channel. So, let us start. The branch and bound method is first proposed by H. A. Land and A. G. Doig in 1960. To have branch and bound, there are two requirements. The first requirement is the way to cover the feasible solution by several smaller feasible solutions. We'll say it as branching. And the second one is bounding. It is the way of finding the upper and lower bound for the optimal solution within the feasible solution. It means when we are branching, we are exploring all the solutions and when we are bounding, we are eliminating the least feasible solutions. Let us say there are two subproblems A and B. If the lower bound of the subproblem A from the search tree is greater than the upper bound for any previously examined subproblem, then A may be safely discarded from the branching. So this is called pruning. In our previous video also we have seen few terms that we use generally in FIFO, LIFO and LC search branch and bound methods. So let us refresh them. First one is answer node. That those solution of the state S for which the path from the root to S define a tuple which is a member of a set of solution of the problem. It means if for a tree a particular node is the solution then from root to that particular node the path we will say as answer node. The next one is live node. A node which has been generated and all those children have not yet been generated is called a live node. It means you have generated the children but their children are not yet generated. Next one is E node. The live node which children is currently being generated is called E node. And lastly the dead node. It is a generated node. It is either not to be expanded further or one for which all of its children have been generated. So such kind of node I will say a dead node. It means what? Either by some kind of pruning technique I came to a conclusion that I need not expand this particular node. Then I will say this is a dead node. Or if all the children of that particular node is being generated then I am not going to explore the node once more. So that's why I will say that node is also a dead node. So basically there are three type of searching strategies that we use in branch and bound. Those are FIFO or first in first out search, then LIFO last in first out search and least cost search. Let us try to understand them one after another. First one is FIFO search. It means as the name is saying FIFO, we know a Q data structure is a structure which is basically first in first out or FIFO search. So we use a Q under break first search of a tree. As we have already seen that we are going to have a state space tree and whenever we are traversing a tree we need to either go through by breadth first or depth first search and when we are going for breadth first search obviously we need to use a queue and when we are implementing a queue obviously it has to be first in and first out approach. So it means in FIFO search the children of the root node are generated in the first iteration and in the next step the children of the first child is generated and if the children is not already killed by the bounding function then put it in the queue. Then the children of the second child is explored. Put all the children in a queue except for those children which are killed. So let us try to understand this with the help of an example. Let us say we are having a graph here and we are to traverse it. We want to traverse from source to destination. So how can we traverse? We have to start with the source. 
So one is the source, and from one I can go to two or three or four, and I have written their values. So all the childrens of node one are generated. Now two, three, four are the live nodes, and I want to expand node two. So so node two is the E node. So for that, if I can come to node two, I can go to directly to node four or node three. After the children of node two are generated, I'll generate the children for node three. From one, if I'm coming to node three, I can go to two or four. Now at node four is the destination itself, so I need not expand it. Again in the queue, I'm having these three, so I need to expand it. From three, I need to go to the destination that is four. Here the destination already reached, so I need not expand it. Now for vertex two, I need to see, and from two I can come to four with cost eight. Now this node four need to be expanded, and this node four need to be expanded because they are already the destination, so I need not expand it. So this is the state space tree that I have generated by using a FIFO strategy. Break first search. Now you can see here the children for node one is being generated. There is two, three, and four, and the cost for reaching to two is ten. The cost for reaching three is fifteen, and the cost for reaching four is twenty. So obviously this is the smallest one. So I'll keep this one, and I'll discard this particular path, and I'll discard this particular path. Next I'm here. I have generated both the paths. That is from two to three, the cost is four, and from two to four, the cost is eight. The highest cost I am going to discard. So this path I am going to discard. From one to four, I can reach with the cost ten plus four plus two. I hope you understood what is FIFO search technique in branch and bound. So this is the tree that we will be getting by having the search using FIFO search. Now let us try to understand its algorithm. What we did here, we initialize a queue. Let us say v is the root of the tree, and let the current value of v is the best value. Then we will insert v into the queue. And while queue is not empty, I am going to do these works. What are that? I'll be removing v, and for each child u of v, I'll find the bound value of u. And if the bound value of u is better than the best solution, I'll insert u into the queue, and I'll update the best value of the queue. So similarly, we'll be having LIFO search or last in first out search. And for LIFO, we use a stack data structure, and we use stack while traversing by depth first search. If a tree is given and we are traversing by depth first search. Then obviously we are using last in first out search. So in LIFO search, the children of the root node are generated in the first iteration. In the next step, the children of the first child is generated. And if the child is not already killed by the bounding function, then put it into the stack. And the child of the second child node is explored. Put all the child in the stack except for those which are killed. Now let us try to do the same problem. We are having this particular problem. We started with the source one. So from here I can go to two, three, or four. So three nodes are so three nodes are being generated. These are my live nodes. As depth first search, I'll take the first node and I'll generate its depth. So there are two children, three and four, and in this again I have to generate the depth for three. That is node four. So from one to four, I got one path. One more path I got from one to four via two. Now I need to explore this particular path. So from one to three, then from three I can go to two, or from three I can go to four. This is not the destination, so again I need to expand it. So these nodes are already there in the destination, so no need of expanding it. So if I want to see how to discard the data. What I'll do uh, when the three nodes are generated, I'll check which are the nodes which are highest value. Node three and node four, I'll I have to discard. So this path is having the smallest value. From this path again, there are two nodes, 
and the highest node I am going to delete it. So this is the path that I am going to generate with stack also. So this is the path I will be generating. Now let us try to understand one more searching technique that is the least cost search. Basically in FIFO and LIFO branch and bound technique the selection rule for the next E node is fixed. And because of the rigid selection rule we doesn't have any preference to a node which is best and can be searched the answer node quickly. The search for the answer node can be speeded up by a ranking function. And the next E node is selected on the basis of the rank function. The ideal way to assign a rank function would be on the basis of additional computation effort that is needed to reach the answer node from the live node. For any node X, the cost would be the number of nodes in the subtree X that is needed to be generated before an answer node is generated. The number of levels the nearest answer node is from X. The rank function will work like this. Let us see. Cx is the rank function and it is a summation of two functions fx and gx where cx is the cost function and fx is the cost for reaching x from root in a non-decreasing manner and gx is the estimate of the additional effort needed to reach an answer node. To select the next e node would always choose for its next e node a live node with least cost. I hope you understood the different techniques how we search in a branch and bound technique. I hope you understood this. If you understood give me a like and share among your friends. In our next video we are going to take an application by using any of this searching technique and solve the problem. See you then. Take care. Bye.